What's up guys, Eric here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how I wrap the roof of this Chrysler 300 with 3M's 2080 series vinyl wrap with the shark fin antenna still on. I'll walk you through the process from start to finish, starting with cleaning and prep, to wrapping around the shark fin antenna, to cutting and tucking the vinyl in for a clean and professional look. Cleaning is the very first and one of the most important steps in this process to ensure the best results. Typically, I'll wipe down a surface with a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water in a 70 to 30% ratio. For color changes in particular, I will often use a clay bar to ensure the surface of the roof is as smooth as possible. A clay bar treatment will ensure any embedded contaminants are removed from the application surface. Also, don't forget to be sure to clean in between the rubber seals on the windshield and the back of the window glass as you're going to tuck a little bit of vinyl in that area and you want that area to be as clean as possible so the vinyl will stick inside of those sections. The next step I did in preparing for wrapping this roof is to apply knifeless tape along the side edges of the roof, typically where the plastic and rubber drip sills are on most vehicles. This particular car does not have removable drip sills, so to aid in cutting the sides of the roof without cutting the paint of the car, I applied knifeless tape on both sides. Also, if you haven't, I recommend you cover the shark fin antenna in either masking tape or painter's tape to reduce the surface energy of the shark fin antenna so the vinyl doesn't stick to it very hard when you're trying to apply it and it slides off easily to make the installation of the vinyl around the shark fin antenna much easier. If you haven't already, measure out and cut out the size of vinyl you will need to cover the roof of the car. Measure front to back at the furthest points and across left and right at the widest points as well. That will give you the approximate size of vinyl you will need to have ready. Whatever measurements you get for your vinyl, I do recommend adding at least two additional inches extra on each side of the vinyl to ensure you have some margin of error as well as excess material to hold on to when applying the vinyl. This way your fingertips are not on the very edges of the vinyl that would be applied to the surface of the roof. Once you've got your piece cut out that's big enough to cover the entire roof with a little bit of extra all the way around, go ahead and place it on your roof so that you have equal distribution of the excess material all the way around. Use magnets or tape to hold it in place once you have done so. The next step I like to do is to draw where the antenna is so I can cut a hole where the antenna will be in the vinyl, as you see me doing here. Make sure you trace the antenna a little bit smaller than the actual antenna itself so you have some leeway when you start maneuvering the material around the antenna. It's better to start with a hole that's too small and make it bigger as you go than to start with a hole that's too big and now when you finish you'll have part of the roof showing through around the base of the antenna. Next, and in particular if I'm doing a wrap by myself, I will make a magnet line about halfway up the roof then bring the back half of the vinyl over to the front part of the roof making a hinge point where my magnet line is at the center of the roof. Then using a back splitter or bodyguard knife I cut the backing paper peel it back and then position the exposed vinyl over the back half of the vinyl over the antenna where my hole is onto the back window as an anchor. Once you have the vinyl over the back half of the roof and over the antenna hole, make sure you do any adjustments forward or back you feel are necessary to ensure that as you apply the vinyl around the antenna, you won't have any exposed roof color showing when you are finished wrapping around the antenna. So to actually wrap around the antenna, I like to use a technique that was taught to me called encapsulation. This is where you effectively create a bubble around the object you're wrapping to isolate it off from the rest of the vinyl, as you see me doing here. This will set you up so that you can tackle that particular area, in this case around the antenna, and then you can apply the rest of the vinyl, which will be much easier later on, which is the flat parts of the roof. Once you've encapsulated the antenna, start working your way towards the antenna, making relief cuts around the antenna as necessary to make the hole bigger, cutting away the excess vinyl so that it can fall down naturally and or with some stretch around the antenna. Be sure you don't cut off too much at any one time because you don't want to make the hole bigger than the base of the antenna itself. You can use heat here, but be sparing when you're doing this because you don't want to overstretch the vinyl, which will result in tight, tiny wrinkles at the base of the antenna. Once you've gotten all the vinyl down around the base of the antenna, you can go on to apply the rest of the vinyl on the back half of the roof. When you finish the back half of the roof, you can then begin to peel off the front half of the backing paper and apply the vinyl down to the front half of the roof. With the vinyl laid down on the entire roof, it's time to start trimming off the excess material. First, I start by pulling the knifeless tape to trim off the excess vinyl from the sides of the roof. 
After peeling off the excess vinyl cut by the knifeless tape on the passenger side of the roof, I then trimmed the vinyl at the front end of the roof by the windshield. To do so, I bridged the vinyl across the gap between the end of the roof and the top of the windshield so I could use the top edge of the windshield as my cut line guide for my knife and it would leave just enough excess vinyl which can then be tucked behind the rubber seal of the windshield. In order to tuck in the excess vinyl from trimming against the windshield, you can use your micro squeegee and your regular squeegee. You can see here I am using my micro squeegee to move the rubber seal away from the roof edge and then using my regular squeegee to tuck the vinyl behind the seal. Continue this process all the way down the edge of the roof towards the driver's side and you can see in the video because I did not cut all the way across the entire windshield. Once I reached a point where I would need to stop tucking the vinyl in, I moved over to the driver's side pull the knife tape to cut the excess vinyl and remove it from the driver's side of the roof and then I continued to finish the cut along the windshield to then finish tucking in the vinyl behind the windshield. The next thing I did and you can see I already started it was to peel off the plastic protective cap on the vinyl across the rest of the roof and that way it's in preparation for doing the exact same process on the back windshield as I just did for the front. All right, guys, that's basically it. This roof, except for the antenna, is fully wrapped. If you haven't already, be sure to throw off the excess vinyl around the base of the antenna and remove the blue masking tape on the antenna if you did that as well. Also, don't forget to do a quick post heat all the way across the surface of the vinyl so that you can seal down your edges and find any air bubbles that you might have missed during the squeegeeing process. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful and value added and maybe informative and entertaining in some way. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button so you get notices whenever I post new content to the channel. I'm working on more videos that I'd love to share. Thanks again for all your support and have a great day.